Hey, I'm Robert Reynolds and uh, proud Madison resident and uh, I'm kind of a transplant. I came here from Nashville, Tennessee after a fairly long uh, 26 year career in Nashville's music industry. Um, I'm originally a member of, uh, of a band called The Mavericks and we uh, traveled the world making music, made a lot of fabulous records which I'm still proud of. Um, I'm a guitar player, songwriter, um, play a few instruments, but I'm primarily a guitarist and uh, I have found Madison to be a perfect, perfect place for this sort of period of my life where, where I'm almost a rebirth of myself. I landed here uh, via a relationship to um, my, my wife, Michelle. Um, when we were dating, she took me home to the region, to this area. She was a Switzerland County girl, but uh, she showed me Madison, and, and we both decided that if we were going to restart our life together, that it was it was Madison for us. So, um, but really, the the deeper story is uh, I I I just hit a wall emotionally and physically, and um, I was recovering from, you know. Pretty, pretty heavy addiction, and um, and I I needed to catch my breath. So in in the strangest way, Madison has been so therapeutic for me. Um, I I have really become renewed by this town as a as a human being, and and I can't say enough about it. I, I mean, it, it makes me brim with with uh, uh, just a happy feeling for, um, it's kind of like a divine journey, you know? I didn't plan this, and I could not tell you all the steps it took to be here, but I know it's right. And Madison uh, is, is my creative center now. After, after really having spent my life in one of the great music cities of the world, uh, doing what I love most, I found that I do what I love best here, if that makes any sense. I do it better here than I've ever done it in my life. Damn. So I, by and large, retired from the music industry. I, I was able to uh, retire, you know, early in a way. You don't, you don't retire from music. It's always with you and it's always who you are. But I retired from the touring and, and the recording industry that I had come to know. Um, it wasn't something that I planned, in fact, uh, it's a byproduct of, of the condition I was in, and but it's been the best thing for me. So I take this sort of retirement from the hustle bustle of Nashville. I find myself renewed here, and I had this opportunity to, to sort of give it back a little bit. You know, it's so selfish to tour, make records, make the money, uh, have people that work for you that take care of all, all of your needs and and you know it's very me 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 but I think teaching is the opposite it's not about me it's about them and so it's it's part of this weird divine story suddenly I'm I'm not getting more for Robert I'm I'm now a teacher um, it's part-time position but it's um, it is the only work I do. Uh, and I teach out at Canaan. I'm so proud of the, the students I have there. I'm so proud of the staff. And, uh, and um, you know, I don't mind saying uh, Rhonda Pennington, who was um, had the foresight to hire me, is uh, amazing. She was really great to, to approach me about this position. I'm, I'm, I'm great. Teaching is where I thrive right now. That and making new music. We've just finished a, a record that uh, me and some local guys have put out. I'm in love with this band and I'm in love with the project and the songs. And we're on to the next record already. So see, see that's what can happen. I've never felt more prolific. You know, I, I have spent all this time in, in um, you know, in the middle of music, the music industry, and uh, I was paid to write songs and um, and I, I was rewarded for songs when they were successful and I toured and I made all the music videos and all that stuff. But I didn't spend the time 
deep in my heart crafting the songs of my life and that's what I'm doing today. And I feel so good about that. And Madison is the gift that has given me this opportunity. It's in the water, I don't know, that old muddy river, you know? <laughs> so I don't know, it's gotta be something. But a lot of, a lot of people, uh, a lot of artists back in the later 60s, um, 69, 70, um, they, they were leaving some of the big cities like LA and they were looking for um, a, a renewal in their, in their musical careers. And Woodstock, New York, the, we know Woodstock for the festival, the Woodstock Festival. And that's just a small part of the story, but Woodstock, New York uh, became this sort of little enclave of artists, musicians. I mean, there were already some painters working in that region of upstate New York, but it's this little um, artistic village, if you will, right? That's how I, I, I've been to Woodstock, but that's how I imagined it was for them. And for me, Madison is my little Woodstock experience. It's, um, of course, I intend to be here the, the rest of my, my uh, creative days, the rest of my life. I'm fully invested in Madison, and that's what M3 means to me. Uh, the, the Madison Music Movement, M3, uh, is so important and so vital to giving us something um, some cohesion. You know, these artists, we, as artists, as creative people, we tend to kind of be a little bit uh, loner-ish or we, we drift and we're, you know, we can be a little ADHD and we can be uh, independent-minded, sometimes uh, not the best organizers. We need organizers. And I think that, uh, I think M3 is the nucleus that Madison's creative community Needs, but um, I'm grateful to, to Dr. Butler and Dennis O'Neill for this uh, studio, Crooked Creek Studios, just down the road here. Uh, and I am um, I'm grateful to the business community that is now coming together as as M3. So I just want to say thank you to M3, to to the town folk of Madison. Um, you've been a great place for me to uh, to have a rebirth, and I I'm really grateful from the deepest place in my heart. So.